Assalamualaikum. Uh, good morning. Uh, this is lecture 9 of CHM 676, Organometallic Chemistry. In lecture 8, I ended the lecture with um, introduction to uh, carbene and alkylidine complexes, which contains M double bond C. Yeah. In my previous lecture also, lecture number 8, I um, went uh, in into some depth on M single bond C. So there was M single bond C, um, M double bond C, which is carbene and alkylidine. And uh, later on in this lecture, I'm going to go into M triple bond C. So I'm going to do a quick recap of uh, M double bond C, uh, carb carbene and alkylidine complexes. You know that there is a Fischer carbene that has heteroatom attached to the alpha carbon or the carbene carbon. There is also the second type, which is the Schrock type, alkylidine alkylidine uh, complexes, um, which doesn't have the heteroatom. And the characteristics of uh, the two, which is the Fischer type carbene and the Schrock type alkylidine, uh, how are they the same? How are they different? I have gone through them with you in the <coughs> last lecture, lecture number eight. Um, I also um, covered on the stability of the Fischer carbene complexes, which is enhanced uh, compared to the stability of the Schrock, where Fischer carbene complexes are more stable compared to Schrock uh, alkylidine complexes, because in Fischer carbene, in Fischer carbene complexes, you have um, high electron cloud of delocalized electrons uh, uh, over the space of three atoms, the metal, the carbene carbon, and the heteroatom. That makes for extra stability of the Fischer carbene complexes. Whereas this does not happen in, uh, in Schrock, because in Schrock, this particular part is not present. So the pi um, electrons are only across two atoms instead of three atoms. Smaller in Schrock compared to Fischer. That is why Fischer carbene complexes are more stable than um, Schrock alkylidine complexes. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go next into the metal triple bond C. If uh, previously I talked about metal double bond C, which are carbene and alkylidine, M triple bond C is actually on carbine and alkylidine. So these are actually um, analogous to alkene and alkyne. Alkene, you have double bond. Alkyne, you have triple bond. Carbene complexes, you have metal double bond C, whereas carbine uh, complexes, you have metal triple bond C. Now, metal triple bond C, R, where R could either be um, uh, alkyl or aryl or um, anything that contains um, heteroatom, they are present in carbine and alkylidine complexes, which are related to carbene and alkylidine complexes, respectively. Now, these can be obtained from the carbenes through removal of heteroatom substituent in the example below. So if you have a Fischer carbene, for example, like this, and you desire to make a carbine, with this, so see here you have a, chro a chromium double bond C with methoxy, which tells you this is a Fischer carbene complex. You want to change from this to this, which is a carbine where you have a chromium triple bond C. Um, then you can do the um, reaction with uh, 
boron trihalide. So it can be trichloride or triiodide. You can use boron tribromide in this case. So your uh, boron tribromide is going to um, attack here and get the methoxy. This methoxy is, will eventually be attached to boron and one of the bromine on boron will be released as Br minus. And in that, in that, um, reaction, you have this uh, CR double bond C to make CR triple bond C. And this is your transition state, which a positive, with a positive charge. And this transition state doesn't, uh, last very long. Uh, it's going to quickly react with the released bromide ion from here. Bro release bromide ion from this one. So I'm sorry. So you have this BBR3 reacting with the methoxy and then making uh, methoxy BBR2. And then the BR minus released will react with the transition state um, species here and make this uh, carbine complex. So you in, end up getting uh, uh, the CR double bond C to make CR triple bond C carbine to make carbine. And from X-ray crystallographic data, uh, the CRC bond distance in carbine or in here is longer, 204 picometers, compared to the CRC in the carbine, which is only 168 picometers, which is a good indication that uh, this bond has experienced a good shortening, and that is um, um, indicative. Yeah, this, that is indicative of triple bond. Now, this was how you change a uh, Fischer carbine into carbine, and down here is another example on how you change Schrock type alkylidine into alkylidine. So this is your alkylidine. And to do that, you cannot use BBR3 because BBR3 is a good electrophile. So it attacks this. But if you put an electrophile here, it's not going to attack anywhere in this molecule. So you use a uh, crowding agent, uh, trimethyl phosphine here. So the way that this is going to work is that um, this trimethyl phosphine is going to take this part of the alkylidine and CHH, that's going to be taken away as well. So it's going to make CME3. Yeah, CME3, remove, remove this CME3 and then take this CH2 and another one hydrogen here. And this whole thing is going to be totally removed to make CME3 to make space for your tri uh, trimethylphosphine to attach to this technetium, to this metal center. And in the process, you're going to have this uh, double bond making a triple bond in here. So that is uh, how Schrock type alkylidine complexes is uh, um, transformed into alkylidine, yeah, having triple bond. So the function of PME3 in the above example is to increase static crowding, crowding around, around the metal center, which leads to the removal of this alpha hydrogen. This is your alpha hydrogen by the alkyl ligand, which is eventually being eliminated as CME3. Again, the M triple bond C is short as expected for a uh, triple bond. Yep. So that is how um, carbine 
is formed. That is how alkylidine is formed. This is from the carbene fissure. This is from the Schrock alkylidine complex. Yep. And uh, the short uh, CR double triple bond C is reflected in this um, 169 picometers, very, very similar to what we saw in your previous um, carbine. Yep. So indica indicating that that bond is a short, very short bond, a triple bond. So as a summary of the MC sigma bond type, we have MC single bond, MC double bond, MC triple bond. And here is a summary which we can, go, excuse me, when we can go through together. So when you have uh, the bond type, the the bo the bonding uh, 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 species is alkyl, you get M single bond C. You have uh, one sigma bond only, and the charge of this ligand. This is not bond type. This would be ligand type. Yeah, sorry, Re ligand type. The charge of the ligand is minus one, and the uh, the electrons donated are two electrons. That is as you see in the table one early on in the notes. Yeah, so you can check. And if it is, it happens to be an aromatic uh, compound. So we call it aryl. This is alkyl. We call it this one here. You call it aryl. It will make a bond, a single bond between this metal and that carbon. And that bond is also one sigma bond. Again, the charge of the ligand is minus one and the electrons donated are two electrons. Then when your ligand is carbene, yeah, you have metal to carbon sing, uh, double bond situation where there is one sigma bond and one pi bond between metal to carbon. Now the charge of a carbene ligand, remember this is zero. Yeah, the charge of carbene ligand is zero. Electrons donated are two electrons and this is very important for you to remember because you, you're going to be needing this if you ever need to calculate the valence electrons for carbene complexes. If you have alkylidine ligand, you are also going to have M to M double bond C, which is made up of one sigma bond and one pi bond. But the difference between carbene ligand and alkylidine ligand is in the charge and in the number of electrons donated. If your carbene has zero charge and two donated electrons, your car, your alkylidine has minus two charge and four electrons donated. When carbene becomes carbine, it will make M triple bond C and the uh, is, that is made up of one sigma bond and two pi bonds. And that ligand, the carbine ligand, carries plus one charge and donates two electrons. Whereas when alkylidine becomes alkylidine, you again have metal triple bond C, which is made up of one sigma bond, two, two, pi, two pi bonds. But the charge of the ligand is different. Alkylidine has minus three charge and donates six electrons. So these are the summary of uh, the ligand type. Summary of the ligand type, structure, type of metal to carbon bond, the charge of the ligand, and how many. Uh, electrons are donated by each type of the ligand. So this is uh, the summary which you can always refer to when you are practicing electron count. So that wraps up our uh, carbene, uh, our metal alkyls, metal aryls, metal carbene, metal alkylidine, uh, metal alkylidine, metal carbine, and metal alkylidine complexes. Yeah. So uh, that shouldn't be too difficult to remember.
Um, uh, that wraps up our metal to carbon sigma bond lecture. So I'm going to stop here and my next lecture, which is lecture 10, I think, will cover this next topic, which is some reaction of organometallic compounds. Until then, thank you very much. Bye-bye, take care and study well your test or your um, uh, final evaluation will be coming soon. Take care. Assalamualaikum.